Hello everyone. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to run uh, OpenNMT on Google Colab. So uh, I have made uh, some notes here in the notebook in order to follow uh, the steps. So first of all, we are going to uh, change the notebook settings to use uh, GPU. So from runtime, change runtime type, make sure it is uh, GPU in case it is none or anything else just make sure it is uh, GPU and then we are going to install uh, OpenNMT so uh, from uh, the OpenNMT documentation we just are going to copy some commands here and then we will run them make sure to add uh, exclamation mark before the command in order to run it as a command not as a uh, python code so it will just take a uh, while in order to uh, install it and then we got it uh, successfully installed so uh, this is uh, an installation uh, second thing, uh, we need to make sure that we have uh, the proper files. So, for example, I have prepared my own files. There are uh, six files in this uh, folder. Um, the most uh, one that we are going to use for training is source training, which is a source file. This is how it looks. Actually, I have like a kind of like products here and this is the target i'm actually uh translating from uh, uh english into arabic language so we have here the arabic text which is a translation and then we have the same for the validation source and uh, target validation data set which is some few examples that uh the algorithm will use in order to validate the training uh, outcome and to measure uh, the accuracy so we have also the same uh, source test set and source uh, sorry and target test set so it is the same also you will find like some examples this is a target this is a source so when you all your files and the data uh, is ready uh, you can simply uh, go to uh, files here okay and then make sure uh, that this is in content you can add for example uh, a new folder you can call it uh, data and then in the data uh, folder you can upload your files like this you can select all of them uh, this is just a reminder in case that you have these files will be uploaded so when you are going to uh, shut down this uh, notebook these files actually will be deleted so uh, you can use the files that you are going to upload here or you can uh, mount your google drive and use them from your google drive directory which is uh, better actually than uploading them each time especially if you have like a uh, large file so we are going to press ok here and then it will take time to load so until uh, the loading is done the uploading is done so we need to follow on uh, with the steps so we have the steps here first thing is the data so we already uh, have our own data so we don't need, need this part uh, second thing which is uh, configuration file uh, all this running process uh, will use this configuration in order to uh, go through each steps you will find like uh, where the data is saved for example where will be like vocabulary files uh, target file and so on will be uh, what is our own data 
in order to uh, run all the following uh, commands we have to make sure that our conf configuration file uh, is made correctly so how to do to make this uh, configuration file uh, it is just a symbol just to open a uh, notepad something like this okay and uh, actually I can make it in the data so just text file okay you can open it with notepad or notepad but for clarity because this is the one that you have uh, on all your PC so it will be easier to follow with uh, an instruction so you just have to copy paste and please uh, make sure that you don't copy paste all of these three dots because this is will cause uh, an error in the file so just the first uh, lines before the three dots and then this is actually not all the settings there are much more settings that you can add uh, here actually uh, they have uh, other examples of configuration so you can just see uh, how things are uh, configured so this is an example of configuration file you can see uh, a lot of things inside same here so we're going to use this one and then we are going also to add this part as well so uh, we need to change all of these after uh, data uploading so our data got uploaded here and we have uh, all text files and also please make sure that all your text files they are in utf8 for example if you check this one you will find that uh, there is utf8 this is the encoding of the file because if, uh, if there is another encoding like it is not utf8 it will cause uh, an error in the uh, process and uh, open nmt will not accept this file so just make sure it is utf8 all the files should be utf8 okay so uh first of all we have where where uh, are we going to save the data so we can for example change this to uh data as the name of our uh folder and then uh source uh, vocabulary also we need to uh, save it in data same here then overwrite is false you can make it false or keep it true that uh, if you made like or, or if you run another training process it will overwrite uh, all the files and so on so here we have a uh, source file and our data folder and the same here You can actually use uh, find and replace instead of uh, copy based to all of them, but I'm just uh, using copy based to make sure that all of them they are replaced correctly without uh, any, anything uh, gets missing in the middle. So or like misreplacing some. Uh, data folder so it will give you an error also so after uh, doing this you just uh, save the file okay and you can change its name to config dot yaml so once we have this config file you can uh, upload it to to the data And now uh, our config configuration file is updated so uh, the configuration files 
uh, it has all the instructions for the training process for building uh, vocabulary for everything uh, you are going to need uh, starting from uh, pre-processing the files uh, to uh, uh, training process and up to the uh, translation process which is testing the model at the end so we can continue moving on so this one is actual training but we need to build the vocabulary first so copy this one and add exclamation mark change uh, uh, name of the config file make match our uh, config file feel free to change a uh, sample of uh, this uh, number so this is a sample number can be more actually it depends on your uh, data so after uh, adding this uh, one you can just run but before doing this we need to make sure that we are in the correct uh, directory so this is will tell you which directory we are in so we are exactly in the content so this is will be read uh, should be read correctly uh, just run it and if it showed any errors actually this means that something is not correct something in the maybe in the path if the file is not found or maybe and the structure itself if you by mistake copy the three dots at the end it may also cause uh same error so here we see that there are no errors everything completed successfully we can now proceed to the training step so we will go to the training step directly and again we are going to uh, change where our configuration path just call this one this is our configuration file then it will we will let it uh, start the training so it will start uh, training and it actually uh, it will save the model okay as you see and it will utilize uh, GPU. So simply, we did this by uh, making the configuration here at the end. As you see, this is a save model, the place the models uh, that will be saved. This is a checkpoint, which means that it will save uh, the model, for example, each 500 steps. Here we have, like, for example, uh, 1000 steps here is validation step so you can actually change these numbers in order to match yours so uh, for example if you want to make it like 10,000 but this is will take actually uh, much time uh, you can also here is the wallet size is one this is uh, the number of GPUs, like for example, GPU rank zero. You can actually, if you have more than one GPU, you can use like GPU uh, one, and here change this one to two GPUs, and so on. And then save the file. Uh, make sure that you are uh, doing these changes before uploading. And also, if you uh, already uploaded it, you can actually uh, change it from. Uh, uh, Google Collab itself you just change for example this one for example make it uh, like uh, 1000 and then here uh, 10,000 okay and this one is 1000 again and uh, control s just to save it now it is saved so next time you run the training it will use a new configuration but the old one is already running so it will not use a new configuration and here is a checkpoint actually saved the training has been done
of course the accuracy is not that much so as you can see the accuracy is very low because the number of epochs uh, they are like 1000 only 1000 steps so if you increase that to uh, 10,000 uh, it will increase the accuracy for sure especially if you have a big data set it will take also longer time but for the purposes of this tutorial I'm just using the default settings in order to make the training time uh, short so uh, in the run here you will find two models the model one is uh, 500 step and second model for the uh, 1000 step so uh, we can test this actually with uh, the test uh, source so just go here to uh, translate Control uh, C, Control V, adds exclamation mark. And here we are going to say uh, our model in this path. And uh, the source data in this path. And the output uh, file, we want it to be in this path, actually. So and uh, here also we'll use uh, the GPU in order to accelerate the process and run this one so as you see uh, it started uh, translating uh, some of them and giving the translation if you open the file here which is the prediction file you will find the translation so it may not be uh, the best translation because we can see uh, a lot of uh, wrong translations but this accuracy will increase by uh, the time you are increasing the uh, number of steps so this is all for now and I will uh, I will leave uh, a link to uh, this uh, workbook so you can use it uh, really you just need to make a data folder upload the files and here you can go uh, that's all guys and uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial and thanks for watching see you